Hi, Mystery Writers. Welcome to Mystery Writers Studio. And today I want to focus on something that's especially important for um, new writers. And that's creating a mystery sleuth that readers love. So from McGray to Parrot to Kinsey Mulhane and Bosch, readers love the protagonist and the detective who solves the mystery because that detective is really their guide through the story through that mystery puzzle so quirky funny quick-tempered logical or illogical readers love the detective and you can name some of your favorites. And here's some of mine, Montalbano, Ariole, uh, Philip Marlowe, Thomas Lindley, Sam Spade, Arkady Rinko, Morse, John Rebus, Jack Reacher, Adam Daglish, Perry Mason, Lou Archer, and Miss Marple, uh, George Gently, Mike Hammer, and more. And you and millions of other readers know these characters by name they may not remember the author's name i know we don't want to think about that but they remember the character and that's what you want from your readers you that you want them to love your character enough to care about the mystery so how do you get your readers to love your sleuth um, because your sleuth leads your reader through the story whatever style and theme of your crime novel readers expect certain story events they expect a victim and the discovery of the crime they expect the evidence hunt where the detective discovers and identifies and examines the evidence and clues that point to who committed the murder and they expect worrying the perpetrator as the sleuth gets closer either physically mentally or both the perpetrator anxiety grows and of course the summation the big reveal the sleuth reveals how and why the crime was committed Readers expect these elements and expect to follow along with the sleuth through that discovery journey. And because your detective, professional or amateur, is the main protagonist, they want to enjoy going along on the hunt with your sleuth. So how do you create a sleuth that readers love? In order to create your sleuth, forget regular character creation advice. Um, you'll want to dig deep into creating your sleuth. One you like writing about and one readers will love. So here's, here's how you get started. Make a list of your 10 favorite detectives. 20 is better, but start with 10. Um, and think about what you like about each of those characters and what you don't like. Create a list of your favorite traits gleaned from those favorites. And remember, your sleuth doesn't necessarily have to be likable. They have to be empathic. Um, so what positive character traits do you want in your detective so start a list it'll grow <laughs> it'll grow but start with some positive character traits and then what is your detective's main flaw this doesn't have to be a huge problem just a trait that gets in their way does he focus on detail so much he misses the big picture is she intolerant of certain behaviors and so doesn't really connect with suspects and overlooks what they have to say because of her um, prejudices? Um, what frightens your detective? Are they short-tempered? Um, do they love 
Do they have a physical limitation? The world is definitely your oyster when it comes to flaw. One big one is enough. You might have some minor ones, but one big one is enough. Um, and then fill in the details. Build your character. Yes, you want that physical description, height, weight, hair, eyes, distinguishing characteristics. And the wound from their childhood that doesn't heal. And their home. How do they live? You know, in an apartment, a house in the woods, in the middle of the city. And their location. Uh, East Coast, West Coast, the prairie, flatlands. Keep filling in the details about, about your sleuth. And um, also create noticeable dialogue. Two or three things that your sleuth says that reflect her character and how she approaches solving the puzzle. It could be a repeated phrase like, little gray cells, we all know that. Or she keeps saying, nope, nope, every time she disagrees. Um, so And uh, make a list of those dialogue expressions in your character description. Uh, and let those dialogue phrases reflect your sleuth's character traits like thoughtful or impulsive. You can tie it, start tying these things all together. And remember that just like all novel research, you may only use 20% of what you know. But I'm telling you, especially if you write more than one book with the same character, uh, you want those tiny details because they may pop up not in the first book but the second book so the more that you know and the more that you add to your characters details traits background uh, the easier it is to put them in any situation and you're going to know how they respond to that situation um, and this strategy lead you through from the big concept about your sleuth to the tiniest details and you'll create a character that's based on premises and traits matching the personal themes as the writer for the story you create the more you know your sleuth the more you can offer your readers and the more you can help your readers get to know your sleuth um, and then one of the things that's going to happen in your story is your sleuth has to interact with suspects and so you're going to need a lot of your sleuth's personality because they're going to have to deal with different types of people and they're going to have to interact with them so how they respond or like those prejudices that I mentioned before um, how are those going to interfere with how they deal with suspects um, when you know your sleuth core beliefs and traits his, his encounters with each suspect will reflect his personality and you you want to make sure that that happens she may have all her but buttons pushed but stay in control or lose her temper how does your sleuth respond when their buttons get pushed uh, and that's going to be according to the way that you created your character and as much as your reader enjoys solving the puzzle alongside with your sleuth the way your sleuth acts and reacts is what keeps the reader engaged. And it may or may not be the way your reader would react, but that response is what connects the reader to your sleuth and what makes them stay engaged with that character. And they may even think, whoa, I would never do that, but wow, you know, this this detective really is on target with this guy or whatever it is uh, it is uh, and so what happens is your character 
lives long in their mind after they finished reading the book. And that's, that's what you want. They've really made a connection with your sleuth, their whole personality, all their traits, and how they interact with the world around them, including the suspects and the villain. And uh, mystery writer Judy Alter has a great story. A reader once swore to me she saw Kelly O'Connell going into her favorite restaurant. And so that reader had so internalized her character that when she saw someone that looked like her, that reader's idea of the character, there they were in the flesh. And when you create an engaging sleuth, ready to meet any obstacle, readers identify with that sleuth. So this is just an introduction to how you go about creating your main character, but if you're new to character work, the more details, the more personality traits, the more you think about how they respond to different situations, how, how, for instance, how is your sleuth going to respond to someone who's smarter than they are, uh, say it's the opposition or it's the actual villain itself who's smarter than your sleuth and how are they going to deal with that how are they going to counter that um so you need you need to know those things how does your character respond to physical threats are they ready for their fight or are they going to step back and try to think of a way to get out of a physical fight Every sleuth is different. Uh, remember, Nero Wolf sat behind a desk. It was all in his head. So there's many ways that you can approach your character and approach how they interact with the characters because that is the engagement that gets your readers to care. That's the most important thing. You want your readers to care about your sleuth. Even if that sleuth, I'm going to say this again, even if that sleuth is kind of an unlikable character, um, readers can still care about them because they have all these other traits that keep them engaged. So if there's one character in your story um, which is a plot-driven mystery with a puzzle that needs to be solved, it's your sleuth. You want to make them as three-dimensional and human as possible. Okay, I hope, I hope that helps. Please, if you have any questions or you have suggestions for other writers, about how you tackled a problem uh, creating your sleuth character, please um, share them in our group because that's what we're here. We're here to share our knowledge and, and also our frustrations. So don't forget to share those too uh, because we're all writers and we all understand. All right, I'll see you next week. And meanwhile, keep writing.